an ACC clash where uh, revenge will be on the mind with Syracuse at Clemson. This is a uh, 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific kick. Looks like Clemson 22, so three touchdowns laying at home, 63 and a half the total. I think this number looks short. I, I could see Clemson um, making 22 look real small. I like the Clemson Tigers here. Kelly, do you agree? I absolutely agree with you. I think this number is too short. And I ended up firing on Clemson minus 15 and a half uh, last week. It was the first time I played in the season, thank God, and they got the cover. Usually I don't like to lay big, bigger numbers. This was one of those spots where I said, you know what, Clemson, what we just kind of talked about with Ohio State, is going to have to pour the points on. Um, I really like defensive coordinator Brent Venables. That might be the K-State girl in me, but I think he's probably arguably the best defensive coordinator. And we had known that they had seen – this triple option the week before with Georgia Southern, when they played Georgia Tech, it was absolutely it was absolutely apparent that they knew what was going to happen next. And here's a Syracuse team that looks good. They're 3-1 and one against the spread. Um, like you said, there's a little bit of revenge factor here, something to consider. Syracuse has, has been great against the spread, 6-1 and one in their last seven games on the road. And I think you're right, though. This line looks short. I think it should be – I think it opened 21 and a half. I think it should be closer to 24. I think we've seen some early money coming on them. Um, but I, I wonder here where kind of Clemson's mindset's going to be. They, they have a pretty easy ACC schedule. They play Syracuse and they play Wake. Then they get to play NC State before they play Florida State. Um, so I don't think there's going to be any look ahead, so to speak. But this might be um, a Syracuse team's, uh, we'll call it their Super Bowl. Right. This what we saw last year. They ended up winning this game and they, we might see them get up and not get embarrassed. But the idea here would be that Clemson has to put on the points to show any sort of uh, voting committee that they deserve to be, you know, the one a to Alabama, which a lot of people will say they don't because of how they kind of uh, struggled at Kyle Field a couple of weeks ago. I will say I talked to a couple of the guys earlier uh, with Trevor Lawrence versus Kelly Bryant. They And, you know, I asked, I said, hey, they're about comparable. And he goes, no, no, no. He goes, you didn't watch enough of that Georgia Tech game. I said, you're right. He goes, Trevor Lawrence is the better quarterback here. He is worth a few more points than probably people realize. Um, so something to take into consideration when you're handicapping this game. And I believe he has been named the starter for Saturday. Um, but, big man, do you have any, do you have any uh, opinion, Syracuse, Clemson? Yeah, I'm looking over the number here. I, I think Clemson has no problem putting points up on a terrible defense. Uh, this defense stinks. I mean, they're, they're going to get shredded in this game. You have the added incentive that Lawrence is playing, who I think he should have started from the beginning. I thought 20 to 1 on him to win the Heisman wasn't a bad pick. I mean, especially if he was in there, this guy could take them all the way to the end. And, you know, they're obviously going to be a good team, so we'll be relevant. But he, here's my problem with Clemson, okay? I, I don't think they're very good in their pass defense. And I think that's been evident. Um, you look at the one team that could m move the football through the air, they got absolutely shredded in the passing game. You know, Kelly, I love you. I love Drew. I love both you guys. But I got to tell you, I can't agree with you that Brent Venables, I mean, listen, Brent Venables gets the best players in the country every year. To me, we have to stop with these narratives that these guys that get this top tier talent are great defensive coordinators. Put these guys on bad teams and see how they do. And that's a conversation for another day. I don't want to take up time by. My, my issue on calling good coaches good coaches when they get the best players. Mike Krzyzewski's not the best coach in the country. He gets the best players every year, and he just happens to be there. Uh, he's a babysitter at the end of the day. Uh, we need to start giving respect to the real court coaches, in my opinion, but that's another discussion. I look at this, these groups, there's four teams that, uh, that Clemson's faced. None of them, other than Texas A&M, can throw the football. They faced a lot of teams that could run the ball, which is fine. They did a nice job. But I think they struggle against high-tempo, high up-tempo teams. Kelly made a great point on this is a Super Bowl-type game for Syracuse. We look at what it was last year. They were able to hang around and, and obviously win that game. Um, they've given up a lot of points this year so far. You look at what Western Michigan get, did to them. You look at what even Connecticut did to them. Connecticut put up 21 on, on Syracuse. I look at this game, I think it's like a 48-21, you know, 51-21. 51 17 something like that uh, i think you guys are probably on the right wavelength with clemson and i wouldn't disagree with you there but i don't think syracuse is just going to go away and say oh we're okay with getting shut out i don't think clemson's past defense is good enough to do that i can agree with you big man i think this is probably more of an overtype game i mean both teams running quite a few plays clemson's running 68 plays a game but 
here is a Syracuse team that's almost running 84 plays per game. And yes, of course, I'm going to give a little more credit to Clemson's defense than you will. But that being said, at a point in time, when you spend that much time on the field, 83, 84 p plays a game is going to wear down sure. any really good defense or mediocre defense, in your opinion. So looking towards the over here might be the right spot. And, and Kelly, I mean, look at how much, I mean, uh, seemingly possibly over uh, as far as garbage time we'll have in this game. I mean, this game might be out of hand and, and you're, you have, you have players that, and, and I want to, I do not want to take anything away. Clemson's front line is might be the best I've ever seen. Uh, but that doesn't mean that they're going to get stopped through the air. Texas A&M threw the ball all over them. I'd imagine Eric Dungy is going to look to do the same here. Um, I love Clemson. I think they're a terrific team. Uh, but I don't trust this pass defense. I think they're going to give up some points late. That could be where this totals won. It's not exactly high either. 63 is not bad. We know Clemson is going to put up 45, 50. And if we can get 17 or 20 from Syracuse, this game should go over the number easily. But you're right. Even if you get that garbage TD, then that blows your cover if you're laying uh, a, kind of a bad number. So make sure if you guys bet Clemson, you better do it early because I have a feeling this one might hit 24 by kickoff. Yeah, and Kelly, you brought up the opening line of uh, it being bought up. I'm actually seeing an 18 and a half at SBR odds where it opens. So that and, and opening lines are, you know, it's tough to say a consensus because I believe this is going off a bet online. So who knows, maybe one guy in the universe got that 18 and a half. But um, so, so it's something to think about. You bring up the bad number. Yeah, it's been bought up, you know, almost four points from that original number, something to definitely think about 63 and a half of seeing as a total We've got people asking about that in the chat box also sam's picks asking kelly for her uh k-state opinion which we will get to after one more game Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.